Good morning, Wildcast. Today is Friday, January 8th, 2021, the first fun Friday of the year. I'm Steven. And I'm John, reporting from room 218. This is your morning news. The SOS Scholarship is a needs-based scholarship available for first-generation students. Applications have opened and they close on February 11th. Lions Club is offering a needs-based scholarship for $1,000. The deadline for submission is February 12th. More information on both scholarships is available at the CCC. Need to take a test? Please see the link on the Student Body Canvas page under Testing. Here you can find information regarding PERT or dual enrollment, ELA retakes for juniors, and algebra retakes for the nine weeks. You must sign up on any of these assessments. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Kirk. SGA is helping the Army of Angels again. This time, we need gently used clothing for babies, kids, and teens. Please bring in your donations to room 360 by January 14th. All items will be going to the Army of Angels families. The Army thanks you for your continued support. Attention NHS members. The virtual monthly meeting is on Wednesday, January 13th. You can attend the 7 a.m. or 2.30 p.m. meeting, and you can find the link to join the meetings in the WPHS NHS Canvas announcements. Do you want to support your school and enjoy a delicious dinner all at the same time? Come out to the Chipotle on East Colonial next Wednesday the 13th from 5 to 9 p.m. One third of all sales will go to the WPHS Cultural Diversity Club and their efforts to promote cultural awareness and acceptance here at Winter Park. Be sure to mention you're there for the WPHS fundraiser. The promotion is also available for online ordering. See attached flyer for details or contact Ms. Campbell in room 208 for more information. Now to Ethan for a fun Friday segment. Thanks, Steven. What's up, guys? I'm Ethan, bringing you your Fun Friday news for today. A man from Maryland recently reeled in a 57-pound flathead catfish, setting the new state record for the largest flathead catfish catch. 34-year-old Joshua Dixon was fishing from the shore near the Lapidum boat ramp on the Susquehanna River when he reeled in the 50-inch long catfish. Now that's a catch. Now, back to you, anchors. Thanks, Ethan. The next Psychology Club meeting is on Tuesday, January 12th at 2.30 in room 262 on the main campus or on Teams. We'll be investigating how psychology is used in advertising and color choices. The Teams code is 5PP5QZB. The next Spanish Honor Society meeting will be today after school on Teams. No fault then. Anyone interested in joining the boys weightlifting team, please contact Coach Benson in room 104 on the freshman campus or Coach Russell in the weight room on the main campus. There will be a flag football meeting on the main campus in room 454, directly above the gym at 1.30 p.m. on Wednesday the 13th. For more sports updates, let's go over to Jake. What's going on, Wildcats? I hope you all had a fantastic break because I know I did. Mrs. Claus gonna Mrs. Claus. give me a Christmas kiss. Anyway, we have a lot going on in the world of our sports teams this week, so let's get into this rundown. On Monday, boys soccer beat Lake Howell with two late goals to win 2-0. On Tuesday, our boys basketball team beat Colonial 57 to 47, and our girls soccer team traveled to Seminole, tying their game 2-2. On Wednesday, man, were we packed. Our soccer teams were in action with the boys beating district rivals Oviedo 2-1, and the girls Mercy rolling Colonial 8-0. Girls basketball traveled to university and won 40 to 29. Also, our girls weightlifting team competed in their district meet with several of our Wildcats placing in their weight class, with Aaliyah Castro playing first for 119. She, along with Mallory White, Aaron Flood, Brittany Chang, and Sophia Gonzalez, will be moving on to regionals. So great job ladies tonight we have some big games coming up boys soccer will take on lake nona at showalter for a huge conference game and our girl, boys and girls basketball teams will take on freedom that's all for me and congrats and good luck to our athletes and have a great day wildcats that's all the news we have for you today wildcats we'll end the show with a segment about the events in washington dc on wednesday have a great weekend everybody January 6th, a day that began with thousands of President Trump's supporters in Washington for demonstrations, turned violent. Storming the Capitol, breaching all police barricades, and forcefully entering the building, the Capitol was placed on lockdown. Police order evacuations, and hours after, the shaken Congress family formally certified Joe Biden's election victory. Since then, many arrests have been made. 